Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only say the son of Nube is my name and I hope I'm finding you well on a Friday. A very chilly Friday. The temperature is very, very much down, especially here in Johannesburg. But well, the business of the day has to continue. And what we bring you today is the latest regarding South African politics. You'll remember that in the elections that were held on the 29th, of last month, that is May, uh, no outright winner was declared, meaning no party managed to reach the threshold uh, that enables it to form a government. So as things stand or as things came out, the African National Congress, which was the ruling party going into the election, uh, got 40 percent of the vote which means that they cannot form a government alone. So what happened is that they have been wide consultations. They have consulted a number of political parties. Some have turned them down. Others have blue-ticked them, like the Umkonto Wesizio party, which is being led by former president of the country and ANC, that is Jacob Zuma. Uh, you will know that the MK party got 58 seats uh, mostly in the KZN and part of Mpumalanga. Uh, so they are a critical role player when it comes to South African politics as it is regardless of the fact that when they contested they were about four months old. So the ANC has been reaching out to them to, or trying to reach out to them uh, until uh, on Thursday where they said they called uh, former President Zuma who told them that they should not call him, he will call them back. You'll remember that famed statement from the former, or let me say the founding black African president, that is the black South African president rather, that is the late Nelson Mandela. So President Zuma said he will call them back, but now the MK has released a statement saying that they have indeed uh, been consulted by the ANC, but they expect some more meetings to be held because a number of issues have to be ironed out. And central to that is that whatever coalition or government of national unity that is going to be formed in the country should put centrally uh, the wishes of especially the black majority in a way that progresses the black majority rather than further pushes them down. Because you will know that there is a lot of inequality in South Africa whereby a certain race let me say the white race is considered to be uh, still controlling the levers of economic power at the expense of the black majority who were disadvantaged by the divisive apartheid rule. So the MK party says it seeks to sign into any form of working together that puts the wishes of the black majority uh, central to whatever is going to be negotiated or compromised upon. Then the economic fight, freedom fighters led by Julius Silo Malema says it cannot get into any coalition that involves the democratic alliance. He says, he tweeted yesterday that you cannot, you cannot share power with your enemies. The Action SA has said that it has pulled out of the multi-party coalition. So the ANC is left with the DA, the IFP, and several other parties. But as I have said already, there are still negotiations because yesterday the National Executive Committee of the National of the ANC set in a meeting which took some hours at Peshut Hotel, that is in Boxback, trying to come out with a working solution to the impasse that came out of the elections held on the 29th of May as announced by the Independent Electoral Commission. So their statement after that was that they have decided that the best way forward is a government of national unity which respects uh, the will of the people as per the outcome of the results that were announced by the IEC which says a number of parties have a share of uh, the vote 
especially those that will be represented in parliament. So they said they're going to consult all of them in a power sharing of some sort that is a government of national unity instead of getting into a coalition which picks certain parties and leaves others out. They want something that will unite the people of South Africa based on their political choices, that is, unite political parties into finding uh, a government that will be representative of the outcome of the elections. Therefore, this has got a bearing, of course, on the migration issue, that is, on the migrants that are already in South Africa. You will remember that we said that depending on who the African National Congress decides to join hands with, we don't know as yet what is going to happen of the migrants that have filled this country uh, since uh, time immemorial. But you'll remember that it has been increasing uh, every year. That is the number of migrants that have been coming to South Africa for some time. So whatever outcome uh, of the negotiations for a GNU will obviously impact either negatively or positively uh, to the status or let me say situation regarding the migrants in South Africa. So we wait with bated press to see who eventually becomes what because there are critical ministries when it comes to migration. You will know that there is the Ministry of Home Affairs, there is the Ministry of Labor, there is the Ministry of uh, Police. These are very critical when it comes to migration and migrants. But what is, of course, of, uh, of great hope is the interview that was done with the federal chair of the Democratic Alliance, which remains the biggest opposition party in South Africa, uh, Miss Helen Zille, who said that it's of no use to be rounding up people, arresting them and deporting them. It comes at a cost because what should be done is to take some time to arrive at the solutions to the migration, especially the existence of undocumented migrants in South Africa. She said, uh, rightly so, that this crisis wasn't built in one day, so it cannot be solved in one day. It takes years to resolve because it took years to get us where we are. So. Her, uh, her suggestion was that people should be given amnesty that says you have such a long time for you to regularize your stay in South Africa or else you have to pack and leave. And then she suggested that those that are on the Zimbabwe exemption permits should be regularized, which means should be given instead of going through the cumbersome process of waivers and all the other stuff, they must be given something which regularizes them, that is, they should be given mainstream permits without having to go through all these cumbersome uh, processes that they are now being subjected to. She also said that Zimbabweans are contributing a lot to the South African economy, quite a lot to the South African economy, and therefore they need to be kept here. She even said that most Zimbabweans that are in South Africa have got high skills that they possess and Therefore, they need to be accorded that respect. And then she said, if she became, or if the DA became part of the government in South Africa, there would be no need to be rounding up people. They would not round up people, but they would look at a lasting solution to the migration crisis. So we hope that this is the spirit that will be carried into the GNU. But of course, we do have some demagogues. Uh, leading political parties that have used migration as a single issue upon which to build their political capital. Fine, they lost because South Africans are, they are in general not xenophobic people. So they saw through the mirage that they were being sold, resulting in these political parties failing to garner even 10 seats uh, in parliament as compared to those that didn't rely on migration as a campaign issue. So at the end of the day, we hope that those that got the votes will use them, will use them wisely, factoring in the importance and uh, participation 
of migrants and growing the South African economy. But we'll keep you updated because a lot is still going to happen. We don't know yet which party is going to be part of the national unity, of, 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 is going to be part of the government of national unity and which one is going to be left out. But we know that parties like the EFF are pro Africans that are in South Africa. We know that the DA has had a change of stance. Uh, the ANC has uh, had taken some sort of a right wing uh, approach towards the elections, but we hope that this was only because of some sentiments which claimed that migrants were a, a huge problem in the country. So we await whatever is going to be the outcome of this government of national unity negotiations. Then after that, we'll be able to project what is going to happen or to predict what is likely to happen, especially in terms of government policy towards migration. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Thank you.